Now that you've done a bit of editing, let's look at multi-tracking. Multi-tracking is another way to tackle some editing issues. Let's say you wanted to record something. I went to the store today, but they were out of bread. So let's say this was a longer audio segment, say five minutes long, and you wanted to keep most of what you had said because it was a good recording. But you wanted to change a detail or a small part of what you recorded. Let's say I wanted to change they were out of bread. But they were out of bread. To something else like they had bread, but they were out of peanut butter. So I've recorded. It, once you hit record, it will record underneath the audio track, and it won't replace any of the original audio track. You can see here how the original audio t track is still intact. I went to this hat. But if you play it over, the two recordings will overlap each other, and it'll sound jumbled. What we need to do is move our second audio recording down here over to the appropriate place. We do this using the time shift tool. If you look up in the top left corner here, we can see where our selection tool is. It's already selected. If we select the time shift tool, which is two arrows pointing opposite directions, we can select any track and move it side to side as much or as little as you want. So I'm going to move this second track over to the appropriate place. What we can see now is where I had originally said they were out of bread lines up with they had bread. So what I'm going to do is just delete the original audio recording portion where it said they were out of bread and here's the result. I went to the store today. They had bread, but they were out of peanut butter. Now let's say you recorded something where someone was speaking much faster. I went to the store today, but they were out of bread. Now you notice that the, the audio waveform is much harder to discern the words. The way we get around editing that is the zoom tool. If you look over here on the right top hand corner, we have two uh, magnifying glass with plus and minus. If you click anywhere on your track and hit the plus sign, zoom in, It'll zoom in centered on that line. So now we can get a clear view of the words. I went to the store today, but they were out of bread. Okay, we can always zoom. Now it doesn't encompass the entire file, so we can always move back by skipping back to the start. And if we wanted to record the same thing as before, they had bread, but they didn't have peanut butter. We can zoom out to see the whole thing go over to our selection tool, uh, sorry, our time shift tool, and move that over to the appropriate place. Use our selection tool to delete what we had. And you can hit play to make sure you're deleting the right thing. And... I went to the store today, but they had bread, but they didn't have peanut butter. And that's how we do some editing with multi-tracking.